Hello, I am Dr. Narendra Reddy. I am the consultant vascular surgeon at Columbia Asia Hospital Whitefield. I have been associated with this hospital right from the inception three years back. What is DVT? Deep vein thrombosis, that is DVT. It is one of the more acute presentations in the legs. Most of the time, this deep vein thrombosis is a clot that occurs in the veins, in the deep veins. They usually start in the ankle area or in the calf area and then they grow upwards. So it enters into the veins of the abdomen or it can become disastrous when it goes into the lungs, what is called as a pulmonary embolism. Most of the time, so deep vein thrombosis, why does deep vein thrombosis occur? Most of the time it occurs in patients who have been immobile for a long time, who have not been getting up or walking around. Also what is called as economic class syndrome. Patients fly long distance air travel over 6 to 10 hours of air travel. Then they are prone to developing deep vein thrombosis. It is usually because of a stasis of blood in their legs. Some rare conditions for deep vein thrombosis are also there. That is, a, once we investigate, we might find that the patient has got certain tumors in their body. Some patients might be carrying a gene, a, what is called as a factor 7 uh, or a factor 5 gene mutations in their body that can lead to deep vein thrombosis. The treatment of deep vein thrombosis is varied. If it's a very minor and a distal deep vein thrombosis, we usually put them on medications. They don't even need admission and then compression stockings. If the deep end thrombosis is extensive, they need to be admitted, they need to be heparinized. Then we switch them over to oral anticoagulation. Generally, treatment is over four to six months. Some of the dreaded complication of deep end thrombosis is a condition called as a pulmonary embolism, where the clot gets dislodged from the veins of the legs, enters into the lung, and mortality is very high when a patient comes with a pulmonary embolism. In our hospital, me and the cardiology team have got a very good rapport. So when the patient comes with a pulmonary embolism, the cardiologist inserts a catheter in, into the pulmonary artery and we give injections to dissolve that thing. I, if a patient comes with an extensive deep, deep end thrombosis, I have a technique where I do an endovenous ablation of these things. I put in a catheter into the vein that contains the clot. Then we inject drugs into the vein directly so that the clots get dissolved. 